Welcome to Introduction to the Customer Management Portal. The following video will provide an overview of the platform to help you get familiarized with navigating the portal. This is the initial video in the Customer Management Portal series. After completing this video, you will understand the management layout and can then drill down into section-based training. To get started, open your web browser and navigate to the URL you were provided in your welcome package. We recommend Google Chrome, but you can use any modern browser that you like. Go to the Customer Management Portal website and log in. Here is the initial view of the Den Car Customer Management Portal, or CMP for short. The CMP is where you will administer the Den Pay platform. This is where you will track your customers, monthly wash passes, and transactions. This video will give you an overview of the layout so that you can familiarize yourself with the features and functions of each section and easily navigate throughout the platform. There will be additional training videos on each section shown here in the left-hand column. We will start with a short summary of each section. If you look at the top right of the page, you will see your login. Select the drop-down button, and this is where you will log out of the CMP. Starting at the top left, the Consumers section is where you will see all your customers that have entered their cell phone number and or registered using your mobile app. This is a list of every known user in your system. When you click into the Consumers link, you will have the ability to drill down to the details of each consumer. You can see their history, their payment information, their contact information, and any wash passes associated with them. The next section is the Sites section. This is where you will see each of your locations. Most of your site information will be set up for you prior to going live. However, anything you want to edit can easily be updated here. Site information includes basic stuff like email and phone, and it also includes wash passes, devices, and site products. If you want to update your pricing, you will select sites to make pricing changes. If you have multiple sites, you can set your pricing for each site here. The next section is the Devices section. Devices are the physical pieces of equipment you have at each of your sites. Devices include pay stations, digital signage such as menu boards, message boards, and in bay directional signs, as well as relays and coin boxes. There should not be much change to devices once they are configured, but one item you will likely update over time is your text message notifications. Each device will have a component setting for text messages, and this is notated as SMS, which stands for Short Message Service. This is where you will add, edit, or delete your phone numbers for text message updates. The next section is the Components section. Components are all the elements that are a part of your devices. Some example components are your credit card reader, your barcode scanner, and your cash recycler. One of the more interesting components is the input-output component. In a relay-based car wash, this device translates analog signals to digital and vice versa. Your installer will configure this device for wash signaling and license plate capture. Because of this simple configuration tool, a software programmer is not needed to bring your wash online. These settings are now field configurable which saves time and effort. The next section is the Wash Passes section. Wash Passes include what you would normally think of as your monthly Wash Pass sales. They also include any custom Wash Passes you might develop for your site. A custom Wash Pass might include an upgraded option like Ceramic Sealer. It could also include a downgraded option like No Underbody Spray. A No Underbody Spray would be useful for your customers that had their car oil sprayed. They wouldn't want to receive an undercarriage wash even on a top wash package. This would not appeal to the masses, so you would configure this for visibility on your app, but not on your pay station. You will also set any limitations on your wash passes here. This could include daily or hourly limits, or unlimited or limited wash settings. The next section is the Consumer Passes section. This section shows all your active, cancelled, suspended, or expired passes. As you drill into the individual consumer passes, you will see the user, but more importantly, you will see the details of the pass. The most important element of the pass is the quantity of vehicles and the vehicles associated with the pass. 
If you were going to edit a wash pass on behalf of one of your customers, this is where you would go to do it. The next section is the VIA Guard section. VIA Guard stands for Vehicle Identification Automation. This is the secret sauce of the Den Pay platform. VIA Guard monitors your monthly pass holder's activity and looks for unregistered vehicles that are washed using a monthly wash pass. Whenever there is an anomaly, VIA Guard will create an exception for you to review. As you review each exception that VIA Guard creates, you will have the option to close the exception with no further action required, or you can trigger an exception to the customer. When you trigger an exception to the customer, the customer will get to choose to add the vehicle to their monthly wash plan or pay for the wash individually. The next section is the Payments or Transactions section. This is where you will see your activity feed. Whenever there is a transaction associated with your business, that activity is recorded here. For example, wash purchases are shown here as well as a breakdown of cash or credit payments. Your monthly wash pass renewals are posted here each night. If you or a customer updates their monthly wash pass, a record of that update is created here. All transaction details are recorded here. This includes time and date stamps, payment type, vehicle details including license plate information, and pictures of the car and driver. You can search and filter your transaction history from this link when looking for a specific transaction. The next section is the message log section. The message log is a rolling log of every communication message that occurs with components in your entire system. Every wash transaction creates between 10 and 15 log messages. This is helpful when investigating workflows, but is not something you will do very often. The system will generate alerts and notify you via text messages, so you will receive a notification when an issue arises. An example of an issue would be when your pay station door is opened, or if there is a money jam. This concludes the introduction to the customer management portal. Please continue your training by watching the deep dive videos on each section.